Yeah. So many cats on the streets here. Just chilling. But of course, you know, the old town Mombasa is famous for domestic cats, you know, people pick a lot, keep a lot of cats on the street. Like this house holds a lot of cats. See all these are residential houses and people live here. So many families live here. It's a lot of peace. So guys, kids are just catching up with us here. We are in the street of Mombasa downtown. Should I call it downtown or by whole town Mombasa? And we are trying to explore the Swahili civilization. See, these are very narrow, tiny streets. Uh, that's the real definition of the old town Mombasa. It's very common to see people just chilling. Hello. Okay. Yeah, very, very common to see people sitting and waiting. It's more like the waiting lounge. So guys, just follow me on Instagram to see more of my adventures as I take you downtown into the streets of Mombasa. Old town. So a bit of history. You know, this... Uh, Grew up as a result of uh, so this so very tiny and dark. Look at the buildings. This is what I'm talking about. It's a very old way of living. You know, this is where the town started from. That's called the Old Town Mombasa. This goes like, you know, in the ancient times there were a lot of Arabs and uh, Portuguese and Chinese. You know, the British. Those are the first people who occupied the Old Town in Mombasa. And then later on, post-independence, uh, it's now mostly occupied by the indigenous Arab tribes and, you know, other tribes of Kenya as a whole. So, for the sake of history, just walking through and you learn a lot of stuff, realize a lot of things. But basically, when you travel to Mombasa, this is one of the things you can never miss out. It's some of the most common sports you can never miss out when you travel to Mombasa. Because, you know, adventures with history walk hand in hand. So, guys, I told you, like, these streets are really defined by the nature of uh, architectural buildings that you see here. These are very, very old buildings. You know, some of them dating to back to 400 or 500 years ago. Yeah, when the first explorers came to East African coast with a lot of trade. A lot of religious influence so guys you are here just want to show you the streets of Mombasa old town 
please remember to subscribe to the channel once more my name is Nick but you can call me Nick Africano So we do is basically try to explore different places, especially here in Kenya and even beyond places that have a lot of influence and history and story to tell, especially like, you know, places like these ones. So here we are. So we still have to go into these old streets of the Mombasa and you know just try to explore and see even the market area here. So this is one of the famous markets here that is located in the old town. It's called Marikiti. Marikiti for the common people, like for the local people. crazy now can't move Just can't move oh can squeeze out so it's a building which collapsed sometimes huh? some weeks ago there's a building which collapsed here so I think they're trying to so this is one of the famous markets located in the old town you know it sells a lot of stuff clothes shoes perfumes jewelry household goods you know you can get anything that you want from this market here it's called marikiti it's one of the oldest oldest markets here in town and it's also located in the old town Mombasa. Here business is more like booming business. So here people, a lot of people dealing local, uh, local clothes, like local wear. They call them Madeira or Deras. I don't know if I can get away here way out I'm sure I can uh, no way no way I have to go back So walking through these tiny old town streets just trying to discover the Sohili civilization. Just see how people live. It's 
so guys be sure to smash that like button and also you know subscribe to the channel Thank you. 